What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. Got a neat scuba tip of the week for you. This comes by special request by one of our viewers, David123P51 asks us, can you show a way that you can clip off your spare flashlight to your BC without it actually becoming a dangly or an entanglement hazard? So I'm going to show you three different BC models. I'm going to show you a side mount BC, I'm going to show you a back plate and wing, and I'm going to show you a more conventional style back inflate or more traditional style back inflate recreational BCD and show you how you can clip off your dive light without it becoming a dangly. So let's take a quick look at each model. Alright guys, so the first one we're going to look at here is the side mount system itself. And here on my shoulder strap, right where my accessory ring is, which is where I happen to clip my spare flashlight, you'll notice I've got two pieces of inner tube strapping here. And this, this basically is just a piece of inner tube off a bicycle tire or a bicycle inner tube. Uh, you can just cut you a little um, piece off and then when you're threading, or threading your back plate, you can actually thread it on. But all I'm going to do is simply just take my flashlight and I'm going to clip off to a D-ring there. And then I'm going to pick up the inner tubing and slide the flashlight itself up underneath it. And then, of course, you can adjust it up or down to fit. But when you're wearing your flashlight, basically you don't want it to be dangling down below. So with that inner tubing there, that kind of holds it nice and secure. And then, of course, if I'm wearing this, it's going to be contoured to my body and my shoulder strap. So that's how I do it on the side mount system. Let's move over to my back plate and wing now, and I'll show you it's a very similar setup. All right, guys, so now we're here on my back plate and wing, and as I stated before, it's a very similar setup to the side mount rig. Basically, I've just got my standard shoulder strap here. It's just two-inch webbing. I've got my accessory D-ring here on the left shoulder that I'm going to use, and all I've done is just took a little uh, sleeve, if you will. These are sleeves that are meant to protect the webbing from chafing in your back plate. All I've done is just added an extra piece of that sleeve to it, and it's pretty much the same process as with the side mount system. I'm simply just going to clip off my flash light and then to keep it from dangling I'm going to slide it up underneath that sleeve itself and stretch it down and as you can see it keeps that flashlight nice and contoured to the shoulder strap it keeps it nice and up underneath my arm out of the way it's nice and secured and it's not dangling down below me so let's take a real quick look at a recreational style BC and I'll show you exactly how I set it up for my spare flashlight so it's not a dangly all right, guys, so now that we're on a recreational style BCD, I'm going to show you exactly how I set my spare flashlight up or how I secure it so it's not dangling down below me. Now, a couple of different things. The other two systems I showed you, I had one piece solid webbing. It, it was a back plate and wing and a side mount. This is a more traditional or more conventional um, set up because this is just a more conventional BCD altogether. But I've got several issues here. One, the strap itself kind of comes up through this little tightening buckle here. So I, I've got moving parts that I have to worry about. And plus, the shoulder strap itself is a lot wider. It's different material than what the backplate and wing style systems was. But I still have an accessory D-ring where I can very easily just clip off a flashlight and go. But once again, we're trying to prevent it from dangling. So there's a very simple process to do this it's to where it doesn't actually hinder the system itself. And what you want to do is go to your local hardware or dollar store or whatnot and get you a pack of these little bungees here. They're very inexpensive. They come like five to ten in a pack for a few bucks. And what you want to do is remove the ball part from the bungee. And all you got to do is just simply pull the bungee out. You're going to take the ball and just get rid of it. You don't really need it anyways. And all that you're left with is the actual bungee itself. And what I'm going to do is just simply double it over itself a couple of times to where it makes it a little bit tighter. Then I can come over here to my quick release buckle and simply release it, opening up the shoulder strap itself. And I'm going to slide that bunched up bungee cord over the top of my strap. Now once I clip it back together, you may think that it would actually hinder the operation of your shoulder strap, but it doesn't. I can still very easily tighten it and loosen as need be. But what I've done is I've added an attachment point here, not necessarily an attachment point, but a way to secure my flashlight. Now whenever I take my flashlight and clip off to it, all I've got to do is simply slide it up underneath that bungee. It's going to keep the flashlight nice contoured to my body, nice and secured, and it's not creating that entanglement hazard or creating what we call the danglies. 
So there you go guys, it's very easy to attach a spare flashlight to your BCD without it becoming an entanglement hazard. A simple piece of inner tubing or maybe a chafing sleeve or even something as simple as a bungee, a cheap old bungee, ball bungee from your local hardware store or dollar store works just fine. Uh, once again, thanks to David123P51 for your question. Guys, if you got any future questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. If you like this video want to see more local scuba tips like this, simply give us a thumbs up. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.